Donna, Danny Fortin has launched a court challenge to the government's decision to remove him from his job as the head of Canada's vaccine rollout. In documents filed with the federal court, Fortin makes some incendiary allegations against the Prime Minister, the Minister of Health and the Minister of National Defence, saying the decision to get rid of him was politically motivated and overrode the military chain of command without him having the ability to defend himself before having his reputation destroyed. The court documents reveal a behind-the-scenes look at what Fortin says happened in the days leading up to his removal, including an allegation that the head of the Public Health Agency of Canada warned Fortin to prepare himself for the moment that they determine you need to be let go and to keep your bags packed. Fortin says comments like that one where he was told and another where he was told that the political calculus had changed proved the whole thing was politically motivated and amounted to what he calls inappropriate political interference by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and members of his cabinet who Fortin says got rid of him for their own personal and political gain, overriding the chief of the defense staff and leaving out key context about the allegation he was facing. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, when asked about it today, would only say it's before the courts. So, Mercedes, where does all of this leave the government and the military? How do you move forward when you keep losing top people? Well, that's a great question and a tough one. Senior military leaders don't appear to respect the defense minister. They're not listening to him, and they certainly don't seem to get it based on that infamous golf game. This is now becoming an issue for the government of civilian control over the military. With the government seeming to have lost control on this file, it's increasingly becoming an issue, and it blew up today in question period. Listen to this. The Canadian Armed Forces is literally falling apart before our eyes. When will the Prime Minister fire his incompetent minister? We know that we have a lot more work to do to making sure that we create an inclusive environment in the Canadian Armed Forces, and we will get it done. And then there's the question of where Minister Sajjan is. He hasn't come out other than question period to give interviews or public statements. And this is all very complicated for the military too, Donna. They continue to lose key leaders in an institution that is supposed to be protecting the country and our national security. It's hard to do that when you're putting out daily fires, though, dealing with ongoing bad decisions and not just historic allegations. Donna? All right, Mercedes Stevenson in Ottawa. Thank you.